Story Time at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hello, my name is Manolidis and I am the writer in residence for the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. And this time, I want to talk to you about this book called The Little House of Hope, written by Terry Catasus Jennings and illustrated by Raul Colon. It was a little house, una casita. When Esperanza and Manolo and Mami and Papi came to the United States from Cuba, they looked and looked for a place where they could live that didn't cost too much money, and they found it. It was small, it smelled like old wet socks, it had a rickety, tattered furniture from a church basement. But even though they were far from home, the family was together, they were safe, they were happy in La Casita. During the day, Papi painted other people's houses. At night, he stocked shelves at a grocery store. Mommy worked at the laundromat in the early mornings and at a diner during the lunch shift. Manolo and Esperanza made their own breakfast, café con leche with buttered toast, and helped with the chores at home. They worked hard in school, and everyone in the family began to learn English. They came home to La Casita after work and after school to the scrumptious smells of beans and sofrito and plantains, the memories of home bubbling in mommy's pots. On the weekends, they scrubbed and painted and fixed anything they needed fixing. When they were done, Esperanza made a beautiful collage with pictures of their home in Cuba. On it, she placed two words, her name in Spanish and English. It was what they found in their new home. In a few months, Mami's sister, Conchita, joined them. She came to live in La Casita because soldiers have taken her husband. She was afraid to stay in Cuba, and she and her baby Alina had no other place to go. The family welcomed Conchita. They made a room for her and Alina in the garage. Esperanza helped take care of the baby, and soon Conchita began taking care of other people's children during the day. She taught them songs in Spanish. Their music and laughter filled La Casita. One day, a woman named Patricia came to look for work at the diner where Mami cooked. She and her husband Enrique and her two boys had just come from Mexico. They had ridden buses and trucks and walked for miles in search for a better life. Mami invited them to La Casita. There's room for two cots in the garage, Conchita said while changing diapers. Manolo sighed. I guess the boys can sleep in my room, Mami agreed. Esperanza starting moving furniture. By the time Papi came home, it was all settled. Even though there wasn't much room, everyone was happy in La Casita. Enrique used Papi's lawnmower to cut grass around the neighborhood. Soon he had his own mower, an old truck, and a trailer. Manolo and the boys worked for him on the weekends and after school. Papi soon spoke English so well he got a job as an accountant, like back home. Mami got a job teaching Spanish at the high school. Conchita kept taking care of kids in La Casita during the day. And Patricia and her family got their papers and found a home of their own. Families came and families went. Esperanza was always the first to welcome them. La Casita offered a home for those who didn't have a place to go. It was a safe place in a new land. And whenever anyone left, they left with a special present from Esperanza. The end. Well, I hope you enjoy this story of hope, 
and family. And I hope also that you join me the next time for storytelling. Goodbye. Cat free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. Org to find out more.